video is going to quickly run through how we use the functions in trigonometry and more importantly how we can shortcut them to make our life a little bit easier. So there are three functions sine, cosine and tangent and they relate to how the sides of a 90 degree triangle work. Sine is the ratio of opposite to hypotenuse, cosine adjacent to hypotenuse and tangent opposite to adjacent. So for the sine function we have that the sine of the angle is the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. So in a triangle such as this sine of the angle is 0.8. Cosine works the same way except it works with adjacent and hypotenuse and tangent similarly except it works with opposite and hypotenuse. So we can calculate the values of the tangent function using the two sides. However that's pretty awkward and so we don't generally use the ratios like that. Instead we have a mnemonic that helps make it a lot easier and we don't have to use any algebra. So this is our mnemonic, Sokotoa, best written with the letters in this format. Sets of three with the one in the middle raised above the other two and we can then use that to determine our relationship for any triangle. So this is how it works. If we take the SOH relationship we know that the sine of the angle which I've grayed out here is related by O over H. Sine of the angle is the opposite over H over being divided by so sine of the angle is the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. But we could equally decide to rearrange it to work out what the hypotenuse is. So the hypotenuse is the opposite over the sine. Hypotenuse is opposite divided by sine. And if we take the third option, which is use it to calculate how long the opposite side is, then the S and the H are side by side, which means that opposite is sine times the hypotenuse. Initially at least, people often prefer to actually write it out in the triad form with the triangle, the line indicating a division with the two below and a multiplication sign in between the two at the bottom. But the procedure is exactly as we were doing before. If we want to work out what sin is, then it's opposite divided by hypotenuse. If we want to work out what opposite is, then it's sin times hypotenuse. And if we want to work out what hypotenuse is, it's opposite divided by sin. Each of the three times we grey out or cover up, however you want to do it, the one we want and the remaining relationship is the one that we're going to use. Grayed out the sin, therefore it's the remaining two, O divided by H. So that's the way they work and does it make any difference for CAH or TOA? That's the same way. We colour out the one we don't want and the relationship is what is left over. We do have to remember what the letters stand for and HOA are our sides, hypotenuse opposite and adjacent, S, C and T are sine, cosine and tangent. Not hard to remember because they're on our calculator as sin, cos and tan. One thing we do have to remember is that H, O and A are sides, sin, cos and tan apply only to angles. They never apply to the side.